My family my got family a huge family problem. Huge problem. I decided to force feed my brother to eat vegetables. I don't know how to lie to him. Yes. Not good. Why well, I got not good? I don't eat very vegetables. Whatever. It's near tragedy. My family, my family got a family huge problem. problem. For so many years, nobody, I repeat, nobody, nobody can persuade my youngest brother to eat vegetables. As a responsible sister who studies nutrition, I'm deeply concerned with, with his health issues. So, I decided to force feed my brother to eat vegetables. Ethically, this is not what a student dietitian or any dietitian or nutritionist should do, but just for fun lah. I decided to challenge myself to blend the vegetables into our dinner and make sure that he doesn't know about it and eat as per normal. My brother doesn't want his identity to be exposed and here's a simple description about him. He is quite big size, tall and only oh, no. eat meat. Sounds like something, I know. And now let's welcome our Zhu Jiao Du Tan Tan! Cauliflower, radish, and carrots. Why did I choose these vegetables? It's because these vegetables are high in vitamin A, B, C. I'm gonna cook three of his favorite dishes. Let's start. Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make meat pop patties. Actually, it's my first attempt, so I don't know oh, how no. it's gonna turn out. Hopefully, this will work out. I am going to add carrots and cauliflower into the meat patties so that my brother wouldn't notice it and then he will eat it. Yeah. This is my meat patty, so I'm actually defrosting it right now. And now, while waiting for it to defrost, I'm going to chop up and blend because I have a food processor, so I'm going to chop them up, process it. Basically, this is the end product, the meat. You cannot see the carrots. Hi guys, seen tried. I got a lot of cauliflower and carrots left. I am going to chow chan, right? It become like a fried rice and I'm going to lie to him that this is a fried rice and it's not made out of vegetables. Guys, I got a news. My chow fan doesn't look like chow fan. My chow fan looks like another patty. I don't know how to lie to him. <laughs> Where's the yellow thing on top? This sauce. What sauce is that? Like the William pork chop kind of sauce. Ah. No rice. Ah. No rice. Try and try to eat. Good. 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 The sauce had no taste one. He ate every single thing. He just literally the plate is like empty. And then despite his complaints about the gravy, it's not that good. Yeah, it's successful. The next day. Yeah, I'm gonna make cottage pie and shepherd's pie. Very fancy name. So I thought I'll give my dish a fancy name as well, which is Pokey Pie. <laughs> my family don't eat beef and I don't eat lamb. So we only can eat like chicken and pork. So this dish contains like mashed potato and minced meat with his favorite tomato paste. I'm going to add cauliflower and radish. I'm gonna mix these two into the mashed potato. See you later. Hi, I just finished chopping my vegetables. Like, now it's the challenging part. He's there. I have to blend my food outside just beside his door so he might come out anytime. I'm very scared I'll get caught while blending the vegetables. So, whatever. By sheer coincidence. Fatality. Mashed potato. Yes. Why, why you put mashed potato with rice? FYI, that's cauliflower. Are you just like rice now? Mashed potato with rice. That, that makes it nicer. Like. Why? Nicer. Why is that? He is referring to the one I'm holding, which is radish, so I cannot lie anymore. This is radish. How is this mashed potato? I never said this is mashed potato, I said this is radish. Sweet, sweet one. Then this, eh? Mashed potato, what? This potato. With rice. But then why are you eating radish? 
So I can blend together with the mashed potato then taste sweet ma. I don't eat very clean material. Okay, then I put separate batch for you. Mashed it up and it's like that, so I need to mash them more so that it's not that obvious. To be honest, it smells like vegetables with mashed potatoes, so I might add some milk to cover up the smell. The rest, I'm gonna keep it for tomorrow. It's a success. He said it's very nice, except the meat doesn't have any taste. I forgot to add more salt and taste it. He said it's very nice. The next day. Hello guys, so now I'm gonna make mushroom cream soup with the leftover that yesterday. The leftovers. The soup smells like cauliflower soup now. I don't know if you will like it or not. Anyway, we have a side dish along with this, which is garlic bread. So hopefully, it's nice. It's boiling, but you can still see the cauliflower though. Nice lah, the soup. Yeah. I tell you something. The past few days I cooked for you, right? Do you notice any difference? What difference? Like texture. Yeah, why? This challenge is a success! Yay! He said that he's willing to eat vegetables if I continue to blend it with his favorite food. So this will mark the beginning of his vegetables journey. So if you know anyone who doesn't like to eat vegetables, this can be one of the methods you can try on them and to see if it's effective or not. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have tricked anyone to eat vegetables before, please comment down below and share it with me what you have done and if it is successful or not. In the meantime, please do not forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for me. Thank you. Bye.